What's up, Scentsy fans? It's Patricia, and today I'm covering my wax empties for Scentsy for the month of March. So I'm going to start with current, then we're going to move to retired, then we're going to move to bring back my bar, all wax. Then I'll cover non-wax items, and at the end of the video, my favorite part, the question of the month. So let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about the items that you can get in wax currently. I actually finished up two small testers of Jammy Time. Jammy Time is Baby Freesia Lavender and Sweet Pea. It's an excellent performer, very long lasting, and scent appeals really come around for me in the past few years. The reason I wanted to use these testers up is the wax had turned almost like a light gray, but it still smelled great. So yeah. All right, let's talk about bars. I have a new release. It is Daydream Oasis. The notes on this are Sweet Melon, Luminous Pear Leaf, and Water Lily. This is a nice scent. It's doing very well. It's quite long lasting for me and I enjoy it. If you like scents like aloe water and cucumber, that one, you're the one, then maybe give Daydream Oasis a try. Also, what's the other one? Iridescent Pearl. Kind of like a stronger version of Iridescent Pearl. So very good and it's doing very well. All right, from the Harry Potter collection, Hufflepuff Just and Loyal. The notes on this are Golden Apple, Whipped Vanilla Almond, and Cinnamon Sugar. This was not one that I really enjoyed very much. It smells better here now, but I definitely get an underlying honey tone in this, and it was fairly strong, so that is Hufflepuff, and those bars you can put in your Scentsy Club now. All right, another new release, I have Apple Teeny Splash. This one has notes of green apple, nashi pear, and simple syrup, and this one is kind of an artificial green apple scent, but a very pleasant one to my nose. At first, on cold sniff, I, I was bored by the scent, and once I put in the warmer, I was like, wow, and even now, I think I'm getting the nashi pear and the simple syrup, which doesn't smell the greatest, but Mixed together in the warmer, it's really nice. And I would say at least a medium on performance for, for this one, maybe even medium plus. All right, the next one is one of my favorite scents. As you can see, there's gonna be a lot of green wax because March was St. Patrick's Day. I used a lot of green wax up. This was an older clam I had of sea salt and avocado. It's pink sea salt, Valencia orange, and creamy avocado. I think what they do is they maybe have like, let's say they have 12 notes for the scent and they, they pick a few to try to make it sound interesting. Well, the ones they picked for this, I don't think really describe it because avocado doesn't really have a scent, but it is natural and green. And this is natural and green and clean and fresh, a little bit sweet, a little bit bright. It's very nice. I, I talk very highly of that, so I don't need to talk more. I love it. All right, cocoa lime. This is a strong citrus scent, coconut milk, creamy, vanilla and fresh lime. And this is zingy. The coconut does not smell like coconut. That's why they say coconut milk because coconut milk is a creamy blender scent. Yeah, this is very strong predominant lime, like the zest of the lime. And it's very strong, but not very long lasting, but the payoff is great, great for controlling food odors. All right, I finished up Dumbo. This was an older bar, I think from about a year and a half ago. So it says sweet, sweet clementine, creamy peach, fresh mango, and vanilla bean. This one is a light scent for me. I can get it between light and medium. If I stockpile the warmers with cubes in a small zone, it'll last and last and last and last. And that's kind of what I did in Ryan's room. But if you try, personally, I wouldn't try it in a big area. I don't think you'll get much out of it. Some people do, obviously, <laughs> all performances vary, right? But for me, I find this is a light wax, light to medium, and you have to stick it in a small area. And scent is very um, tangy, tropical, like smoothie, vanilla smoothie. There is a tone in this that's a little funky for me. So I'm not a huge fan of Dumbo, but most people do like it. Although in my <laughs> Tester Tuesday video, there was quite a few people that didn't really like it. So I was kind of surprised. Everyone started coming out of the woodwork. All right, scent of the month for, I think it was February. This one I really, really enjoy, Sunburst Bamboo. Sunburst Bamboo, Cucumber and Peony. It's a very nice, pretty green scent. It's soft, but it performs well. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite scents of the month in a while. Very nice. Sometimes you, you see the scent Sunburst Bamboo and you have no idea what it's gonna smell like. So if you're unsure and you don't know if you're gonna want it in the wax, maybe pick it up in a scent circle. All right, moving on to retired items. now. The next brick looks a little bit beat up. It's a walnut raisin muffin, I finished this. Ramona gifted this to me. So this came from Texas and it kind of got melted. So I'm not really sure how much was in it because when I opened it up, all the wax had like melted and it was very interesting. It was like a, 
a Tetris puzzle trying to, <laughs> if you, once you cut it, you're like, how do I put this back together? But I would say it's roughly was about half full. So I've been working on it for the past few months. Ramona gifted this to me. This one's really nice. The notes are muffin, cinnamon, golden raisins, and walnuts. I don't really get a lot of muffin, but it is a nice, warm, cozy, inviting scent. It does smell like raisins. It does smell like a little bit of spices. It's almost like welcome home drifted into the bakery aisle. So, all right, a bunch of green wax. I have apple crush. This was a former kid scent, green apple and apple blossom. And it's an artificial green apple, but it has a, a very prominent sweetness and vanilla tone compared to Apple Teeny Splash. And there's a floral in this. So the floral kind of just bumps up the green apple. It doesn't really scream floral, but this is pretty much like a one dayer and it's not super strong. I think what I'm finding is some of these bars where they're a little bit older. Uh, okay. All right. I can see the pour date if you want, <laughs> if you want to know where the pour date is. All right. You can't see it because it's very hard to see, but inscribed right in the plastic right here, there are a bunch of letters. And then below that, like a bunch of letters and numbers, which is probably like the batch identification number. Then it says 03 19 2020. Now let's just do this for fun. People say if you peel back the label, you can see it better. So if you want, you could peel back your label. <laughs> Let's see how much of a mess this is going to make. It's actually le left the writing behind on the. So let's see here. No, because it left the writing behind, but I think it's actually easier to see on this one with the label back up. But most times if the bar doesn't leave the imprint of the writing behind, you'll be okay. But yes, not every bar has a port date, but that one... I feel like it's losing a bit of scent and I think I have three more bars, so I'll definitely gotta use this one up. All right, this one is Dazzle Darling from the Glamorous You collection. It's salted grapefruit, sparkling coastal water and beach sage. This one I don't really know how to describe, so I'm just gonna refer to the scent notes. It's very nice, but I'm not sure about the salted portion. I don't really love a lot of salted scents especially salted citrus, but in the warmer, this was way better than I thought it was going to be from my cold sniff. And I put it in the bathroom and kind of finished it up there and it was a good performer there. All right, Fiesta Lime. This is a uh, summer collection scent from about maybe 2020. This one is lime, lemongrass, and ginger. And this one is very artificial candy lime. And I'm not really a big fan of this one. And it starts out about a medium and then quickly dies off. I wouldn't repurchase that one. The next one is Coconut Daiquiri. This one is in my club, but it's kind of like gifted to someone each time it comes. So Coconut Daiquiri is coconut milk, banana, and vanilla cream. Yeah, this is like a tropical banana with a underlying body care tone in the background. It's about a soft to medium scent. So once that person decides maybe they're not interested in that scent anymore, I don't think I will continue to get it. I finished up some testers plus the full bar of Fiddle Leaf Fig. This was in, I think, two catalogs, probably 2020 time frame. This one is Wild Fern, Mission Fig, Crushed Mo Rosemary, and Coconut Water. This one is very, very strong, very, very long lasting, and very, very not high incentive <laughs> for me. Yeah, it's like a green pepper met a fern. I don't know. Not not a fan. I'm glad it's gone. <laughs> all right. From the Jelly Belly collection, since he no longer has this license, so you can't get this at all anymore. Green apple, sponge sugar, candy, sweet vanilla. And I was warming this and I was like, yeah, yeah. And by the last two cubes, I was like, oh, I kind of, I'm starting to really enjoy this. And then, and then it's gone. But it's an artificial green Jelly Belly candy-like scent. So not too much to say about that. From the vitamin collection, this was actually supposed to be in my current things that I wore, but it sold out. So let me just uh, see what I have written down here. This one, people say it smells a lot like uh, Irish Spring soap. I would say, I can see that, uh, maybe Irish Spring, like the store-bought version, not exactly the trade. So this is Fresh Mountain Air, Wild Flowers and Fern. Now, when I put this in, I remember I put one cube in my mini warmer and it was very, very strong. Like you can smell this like 
you, there's no question you're warm and wax. But my husband's like, what do you got warming in the, in the laundry room? I'm like, why? He goes, it reminds me of my great uncle. I love it. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. So I think he loves it because it, it, he immediately thought of his great uncle um, up in New Brunswick. So yeah, scent association immediately for him on this one. So vitamin I inhale smells like my um, husband's great uncle. All right, this one I really like. It's a soft scent and I wish I could dial it up a notch. It's Ivy and Water Lily. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Just a little a smidgen too light. Sometimes I can't smell it, especially especially in a mini warmer. I couldn't really smell it the greatest. So Mandarin Zest, Rain Kiss Jasmine, Sheer Amber, and Fresh Dew Drops. I remember when I did my tester Tuesday, I remember saying this reminds me of a bride in a very simple, sleek, white dress with a few, you know, gentle curls in her hair. It's rained the morning before. You can hear the birds chirping. Everything does have dew. Her flower girls just have very pretty basic flowers. And there's just a few guests gathered for the wedding on a spring morning. That is this. And the bride would smell just like this. A very pretty, um, dewy, floral scent, but, but at the same time, slightly perfumey, but very mild in the perfume, but nicely well done. Anyway, just not strong enough. All right. Let's talk about some testers that I used up quickly. These ones are all retired. Ariel Under the Sea. This was in the Princess Collection. Emerald Water Green Apple Blue Hibiscus. Definitely get a lot of hibiscus with that one. That's a pretty good performer. Very Snowy Spruce. I wanted to use these up because they were old. Balsam Spruce Cedar Branches Amber and Pine Cones. Not my favorite tree scent. It's everybody else's favorite, just not mine. Um, it's a little bit too ambery for me. Give me Passion Flower. These ones were getting kind of grungy, as you can see from this one. Dewy passion fruit, mango, and wild hibiscus. Again, another hibiscus scent. I find they come out of the gate strong and then they taper off. This was a pretty yellow wax, You're My Buttercup. I warmed this in my daughter's room. It was sweet apple, juicy pear, yellow buttercup, and white musk. Very much a floral scent with a little bit of sweetness and definitely can smell the musk. So if you don't like musk, I don't think you'd like that one. I really like this one, but I don't think a lot of people do. Rainforest Bungalow. This one has emerald palm frond, dewy lemongrass, and aloe flower. It's a really nice green scent that doesn't smell too perfumey, which is really nice. Kind of like a pure green scent. And this one I've got warming in my room today, and it is soft, but I love it. And I would love if you guys added this to your Bring Back My Bar voting list. I've actually seen it get quite a few votes over time. It is called Berry Bubble Blue. Write that down, Berry Bubble Blue. It's a former kid scent. The notes are blue raspberry, tart green apple, and sponge sugar. I'm just gonna smell this one, because this one's so nice. I remember I was gonna put it in my daughter's room, and then I smelled it, and I'm like, it's going to my room. <laughs> so I can't comment on longevity, but there is a Tester Tuesday video out. And I mean, it's not a stellar performer. Usually a lot of former kid scents are on the lighter side, as is this, but very, very nice on Centipede. All right, let's talk, bring back my bars. I have blue raspberry ice in the old packaging, sweet cherry, icy white lemon, and blue raspberry. I definitely get the icy lemon and the blue raspberry and not very much cherry. Oats and honey. This was a bring back my bar from the, what do you call it? Club exclusive scents, I think. Was it a club exclusive? Anyway, <laughs> you can no longer get this one. This is old packaging. Toasted oats, tupelo honey, and vanilla maple. I don't get maple, but it's a really good mixer and good on its own, a fairly strong scent. Huckleberry sage in the old packaging. Tart ruby cranberries, purple huckle huckleberries, and silver sage. I definitely get the silver sage. And that's a little bit of a tone that kind of makes me like, like when I smell it, like, whoa. Most people love this. I'm not a huge fan, but I've come around to it. And I definitely get like a tart berry. They said huckleberries and uh, cranberries in that one. I would say a light to medium scent. Better for small areas to medium areas. I wouldn't put in a big zone. Rosemary mint. Love this one. The notes are going to scare you, but this is a nice scent. It says mint, tea tree, and rosemary. So I feel like you barely get any rosemary. And the tea tree, yes, does smell like tea tree a little bit. But mixed with that um, mint, it works really well. So this is a really nice one. It's about a medium performer. The next one is a good one for me, but not for many. It's banana berry. So would I warm this in my open layout? No, it's not strong enough. But in bedrooms, bathrooms, entranceways, 
I love it. It's creamy banana and juicy, creamy strawberry. It smells like a smoothie. It smells heavenly. And I don't even really like fruit scents that much, but this I love. And I do have maybe like six other bars. As you can see, my bars are all old. They're all discolored on the back. And maybe that's why they perform well for me. But I took it out of my club because I just had so many. So, and I don't warm it in big areas. Sometimes with club, if you warm it in like bedrooms, then you don't need as many bars and then they start to stockpile and then you've got to do something. All right, this one gets a bit of, I don't know what the word is. Sometimes people like poo poo on this, but this is a really good scent. It is bring back my bar of fresh cut grass. So you're thinking, do you want your house to smell like grass? Maybe not, but to me, this smells like grass with a bit of sweetness and it's just so fresh and clean. I think if you like sea salt and avocado, maybe reinforced bungalow. I think you would like fresh cut grass. So the notes are like freshly cut fairway on a cool summer morning. So yes, it doesn't smell like gross grass on the bottom of your ride on in your garage kind of grass. It smells like outdoor, fresh, dewy, clean grass. That's sweet. <laughs> All right, from an Oak Canada Scentiversary collection, this is Thunderstorm. So this one has different notes when you look it up, but I have written down refreshing, sharp, spicy outdoor fragrance. And in another area for one bring back my bar, I remember they said there was rose in it. And it's almost like a sharp floral with earthy astringent notes, like almost like pungent roots and stems. You can smell the earthiness of the ground. You can smell the freshness of the rain. It's very nice, but my family doesn't like it. I I'm okay with it. All right, Simply Vanilla. I love this one. Love, love, love. For me, it's about a medium intensity, and I would warm it my open layout knowing that it's maybe going to be medium to light. Mmm, so beautiful. It's a natural, pure, fragrant vanilla. Great on its own. Great as a mixer if you want a non-foodie vanilla or just a basic vanilla. But basic, done well. All right, Marshmallow Mint. If you know me, this is my second favorite Scentsy scent. I love this. It puts me in a good mood. It relaxes me. It calms me down. Not that I ever get too <laughs> worked up. This is such a nice scent. Oh, I could just huff this all day long. Butter mint, which is a creamy style mint. Marshmallow and amber. And amber usually scares me, but I will take all the amber in that scent that I can get. All right, so let's move on to non-wax items. I'll talk about oils first because I only have two and they're right here. And one of them I can smell from here. The one I can smell from here is peppermint vanilla and vanilla. Super strong, super strong. A good peppermint with a nice balance of vanilla. And I have this one called Hug Me. And I'll put the notes below because they're up, they're up there and I don't want to stop the video. This barely had any scent. Like I could barely smell this. I just put it on to use it up. I was just like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, Hug Me, if it was ever available, which is from a collection, so it wouldn't be, I would definitely not pick it up and I would not recommend because it's hard to smell. At least hard to smell for me. My husband finished up a Blue Grotto Scentsy Soak. He loves the Scentsy Soak. The notes on this are Tropical Notes, Citrus, and Lush Botanicals. So that one's no longer available, but I bought, I think, seven or eight Scentsy Soaks in the flash sale. My flash sale is still not even gone to printed status yet and it's March the 30th so I'm hoping it'll show up at some point <laughs> we'll see I think my order is so big okay so I think what happens is when I worked in a pharmacy we would get these everybody that dropped off prescriptions it would get put in a basket so if you have one prescription it would get put in a basket like the paperwork and then you would fill the prescription put the bottles in the pharmacist would check it it would get bagged blah 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 but like some people might have 10 prescriptions and so there'd be 10 slips in there and you'd have to go get 10, at least 10 bottles or whatever count. So sometimes like when you were an assistant, like I was, you were like, you'd see like a big batch come through and you're like, oh, you just kind of like slide it off so that someone else would have to do it. And I feel like that's my order because they're like, holy crap, this is a big one. We'll just, we'll just ignore it. The other thing I think is depending on where you live, they have to sometimes get stuff from other distribution centers and get it all in one spot and then ship it out. And if they can't do that, then that's when things go on back order and they get shipped to you separate because they're waiting for something to come, say from Texas or, you know, um, I think mine ships out from, where does mine ship out from? I forget, not Idaho, but say, say if they're waiting for things to ship from Idaho to my distribution center and then it gets sent up to me. So anyway, moving on, dish soap, 
evergreen and grapefruit. I did not like this at all. I used it as dish soap and then I said, well, I'm just gonna put it in the hand soap container and, and use it up that way. And then Ryan came out and no joke, he said, there's something gross going on with the soap container. He goes, my hands smell really gross. <laughs> and it was this. So yeah, I know there's a lot of people that love that, but Ryan don't, doesn't like it and neither do I. All right, I just finished up one of these, but you'll see a lot of these Fiji flower washer whips. If you've been watching my channel, you know I love that. And I have, I think, six more coming in the flash sale order. And I probably have like eight downstairs and then that one. So probably like 15 to use up. And I don't even care. I love it that much. All right. For pods, I have two pods of sheer leather. And I've started dating my pods. So I'm doing very well. I'm actually on 2021, I think, for most of my pods. I think you'll see a couple in 2020 on my next empties. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing very well. I'm going through my oldest ones first. So I warm these in... or warm them. I diffuse them in Drew's room. I don't have the pods to show you, but sheer leather has leather and it has bergamot and it has sandalwood. And it's very, very nice. I call it the sexy bedroom scent. It did okay there. And once it starts losing its oomph, I transfer it to a small area. Okay. Okay. Here's the pods. So in here are little scented beads and the fan, the fan system is what activates the scent instead of warming it in wax warmers. So here we have clothesline. This is a very strong wax and it's also a pretty good strong pod. I had this going in my laundry room. It was really, really nice. And yeah, I liked it. I would definitely repurchase that one. Now, uh, one I think Etta asked me what I use with my Fiji flower washer whips because obviously I, I do have some Fiji flower laundry soap and I did use that by mistake one time without putting the washer whips in and the, the clothes had like zero scent. So just to give you a heads up, the laundry liquid, to me, it's more for cleaning and not so much for scent addition, but it is an excellent laundry soap. I've had great results getting out like food and, you know, just lots of stuff. I mean, I have a special needs child. He is messy when he eats and it, it gets out stuff, okay? Anyway, the, the washer whips are what's going to give you the most bang for your buck. I, that, then I would say the dryer disc and then maybe scent soft. I don't use scent soft, but... Scents off will fit in there somewhere and the laundry liquid the least amount of scent but what i find i like to pair with my fiji flower once i run out of uh, the laundry liquid i will use palm beach breeze and that's what i usually use for my dryer discs with it and it does very well so i just wanted to include that so i can remind you excuse me i finished up a hand cream and sea salt and avocado i've gone through the notes uh with this but yeah this is really really good i love this it's no longer available Oh, so good. Such a creamy formulation. When my hands are in rough shape, I can literally put like a few doses of hand cream on in a day and they're almost back to normal the next day. I love it. All right. My daughter has started taking scent circles to her locker, but she actually doesn't use her locker. She has a friend and they kind of all put their stuff in one locker. So the first scent circle I gave them was pomegranate prosecco. And she said that one blew them out of the locker. So she said that one after a while it died and she's like i need a new one she forgot to give it to me so i, I gave her disney oh boy and she came back and she said oh boy is not a very good performer <laughs> i said yeah i know so yeah this one didn't stay long and now she's got blueberry cheesecake and that one's doing very well all right and speaking of my daughter she has an eliza is it eliza the elephant buddy and she she's so cute she's 16. <laughs> Hope she doesn't watch my videos <laughs> she sleeps with the eliza the elephant buddy and one of the legs is almost coming off she's like getting a little bit concerned i said we can always always sew it on don't worry and, and it's funny the buddies come out looking so great but once your kids start using them they start they kind of do look like a well-loved stuffed animal but i said to her well maybe we should put a scent pack in it since you do <laughs> sleep with it <laughs> so i put in honey moon hideaway so i'm gonna have to go smell it and see if it it adapted well to the scent because I usually don't put scent packs in my buddies, but I thought, well, let's give it a go. So let's move on to the question of the month. So last month's question of the month, if you want to go back to the comment section and read through, it was basically asking people what scent or scents get them the most compliments. This time we're going a totally different route, but it's still talking about scents, but we're talking about LTOs. So LTOs are limited time offers and since he loves to do LTOs, I'm looking over there at the Chase Rainbows collection. They just did the All Is Well collection. What I want to know from you is how do you guys feel about the amount of LTOs that we get? 
and it might differ if you're a customer or a consultant. So you can, you can indicate that in your answer. But do you find there's too many LTOs? Do you find it's just right? Or do you wish there was more? Let me know down in the comments. I can't wait to check them out. I will head down in the comments section soon. I will get uploaded this, uploading this video after I add the set notes and the descriptions because you guys said you like that. And coming up soon, I will have my well, uh, melting basket for the month of April. I'm doing something a little bit different for April, May, and June. I hope you enjoy. And coming up in Scentsy land, we'll have the Bring Back Marm Bars in June too. So lots going on in Scentsy. Yes, yeah, so make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell and you'll be kept up to date on all things in my Scentsy life. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video.